So let's start with the mesh or the mister. And before we even continue, uh, this is mostly because vapors or gases tend to physically drag some droplets. And if you don't believe me, try to blow something. So you blow something. This is, let's say, this is you. You blow. And I'm pretty sure that you know that your air is not 100% air you will have some saliva some liquids there and this is because physically it's very common that air passes through your thong your teeth and it is almost impossible that saliva does not get dragged with the gas right here even though it might be not soluble it might be not in equilibrium or so you will drag things with a uh, flow of gas so the same is true for a flashing operation. Remember that flash separates vapor and liquid goes down. The vapor goes very fast and inevitably you're going to have some droplets of the liquid. Remember that we want to ensure that the liquid goes down with gravity and the vapor goes up, but 100 vapor will be awesome. The demister will ensure that. The mist extractor is the final gas cleaning device in the flash drop. The selection, design, will typically depend on the, where is it? Yeah, the, the, determining the amount of liquid carryover remaining in the gas phase. So if you have something around 1%, well, maybe you don't need a very complex uh, mist, but there are cases so extreme that you may have even 30% uh, composition, sorry, not composition, 30% in the flow rate of volumetric flow rate, you will encounter some uh, liquids. The most common types you will encounter is the wire mesh pad, so-called mesh pads, vein type or vein packs or axial flow, the missing cyclones. So actually what I encountered the most is the wire mesh pad, which is nothing more than a kind of filter of wire. So yeah, something like this. Okay, the formation of mist in gas streams often results in process inefficiencies. So first things, you don't want to lose your liquid in the vapor phase. Secondly, you don't want to have problems in your vapor, especially in the compressor. And you may also encounter sometimes of uh, sometimes types of uh, I don't know oxidation, rust, etc., because you are not cleaning your gas properly. Knockout drums, distillation columns, evaporators, and environmental scrubbers will typically have the demisters or mesh on their applications so right now we are in the knockout drums yeah we call flash drums also knockout as you can imagine because of the flash is very quick it literally knocks out the liquid from the vapor and right here we have a plate pack and a mist master so you can see there are several ways of course there are plenty of designs nowadays what you want to do is maximize the separation between liquid and vapor and there are some engineers working hard with these issues this is the one that i see the most this is the famous wire mesh mist can also cause serious damage to downstream equipment as you can see here later on this little mist can affect as stated before rust uh, and, and so on compressors may fail if liquid droplets are not separated from the gaseous input well that's an obvious one your examples plastic ones uh, from wire I don't know why this is metallic one but i don't know what type of material seems to be anyways these are some examples i don't want to get that technical because of course it is not our task right now to select the misters but they will depend of course on pressure drops that you may allow they will depend on the velocities that you are uh, uh, operating and of course the droplet sizing what is the amount that you will allow of course lower uh, droplets higher pressure and higher velocities more pressure drops and these are the mesh and the misters very important because they will allow the paper go upwards and the liquid will eventually form all these little parts right here and will start dropping 